hi um you're welcome once again if you're able to get to this point uh i'll tell you a very big congratulation um the next thing we are going to be doing is to uh, run the analysis but before we analyze this uh, building uh, i would like us to add uh, our roof load okay if you if you check this dead load life load for light frame walls for a roof okay well, a roof is one kilo newton per meter square so all we need to do now is to find a way to subject or to add that load on our beams okay so all we need to do we can simply come under uh under this uh, what they call it our loadings when we come under our loading we can just subject this particular beam to a load of one kilo newton per meter square okay so we can subject it to a uniformly distributed load that's basically all we need to do and just subject it to that load and that is all oh uh, but there is other ways we can achieve this you can see we have partial uniform load we have trapezoidal load we have wall load uh, partial wall load and all of that you can as well even manipulate your wall load to achieve that okay however the major focus is to just add that one kilo knitting because um you know your structural member is based on loading whatever loading that is on your slab to your beam beam to your columns and then down to your foundation okay so if you understand how to manipulate all of this then you are okay so um all i need to do now is just to subject this to one kilo knitting which has already uh, been subjected to if i click this now and that is all once i click on ok you'll be able to see that uh, sorry i don't think this beam a bit load uh -huh. the beam has been subjected to that load look at the load here this is the self weight of the beam and then this is the one kilo team that was added to it. so if i click on ok and that is that i can as well just copy this load and then uh, click ok and then i can just highlight all the beams that are here okay and then i will right click and then i'll paste the load so my my roof load has been added to my beams to my roof beams so what i need to do lastly now is to actually come to my analysis in order for me to analyze so, um but i will always advise you always come back to your review and try to do a relabel uh members okay so this relabeling help you to rearrange it once again probably in the course of your modeling you must have skipped one or two the arrangement you must have done may probably not be uh, right or correct in a way so um so it's always important that you do that i'm just going to delete what i have done there so that it won't affect the major modeling which i have done here already so um i'm going to just uh, use the relabel member and i'll click on yes and then i will check my column i will check my beam and i will check for slab as well and then i will click on ok so that has been relabeled i will delete all use axis that are in the model any axis that is not used in the model i will delete it okay now then the next thing i'm going to do so um I can check for my slab thickness but it's just good for me to do the analysis first by the time I do my analysis I can come back and do all this checking and all of that uh, but I can not available to select for design code because I have not really even done the analysis yet so it's important I run my analysis if I come to the 
uh, analysis tab here now i will click on this building analysis um there are several ways to do your analysis when it comes to project structure we have the finite element analysis let me click that finite element flow analysis we have the building analysis and then uh, there is one other finite element foundation analysis okay um we'll go into all of that even as we go further in the training if i click on the building analysis here it will bring this tab on you can see here we have the c20 slash 25 so all you need to do you have to select the grade of concrete that you want to use for your design and also the grade of your steel okay so uh if i click on this edit material now all i need to do is to select the specific grade of concrete i want to use so if i click here now it will bring me option you can see these are the several options i can select so if i click on 20 slash 25 i click on apply to all members and i click on ok every other reinforced concrete member here will adopt 20 slash 25 so but if i want to use a different grade of concrete for my slab i can as well just change it from here but uh, i would want to maintain 20 slash 25 so similarly for your grade of steel all you need to do is to pick the particular grade of steel you want to adopt for the design and click on apply to all and it's going to apply to every other concrete member that is here but these other structural members here are steel members okay we have the steel and we have the formwork which is that of our timber okay um so i will click on okay because our model is reinforced concrete uh, model so we are focusing on everything that has to do with concrete for now so if i click on loading combination it will generate all of the loading these are the the load combinations the life load and uh, dead load uh, all i'll need to do is to click on loading if i click on this loading here now this menu that pops up in a case where you have a concrete and you have a steel member in one model in one this structure because there are times you may have a reinforced concrete building where the steel the the roof is steel in that case you may have to select this and then when you come to this horizontal load combination you are going to see where you can check your wind load if you want to apply your wind load but because of how small this building is and the story is not going high so uh we don't have need for wind load if you design it considering wind load that is actually going to be over design so if i click on ok and uh, so you can see here the wind and story load i'm just going to open it in order for you to see you can see from these higher versions they have what we call the wind load calculator you can also import a wind load uh, if you click here you can see a list here you can select any of them they are in csv format uh, csv format can be gotten from your microsoft excel you can save it in csv so you can prepare your csv file and as well import it so um if i still come back to this edit material because i will need to specify the reinforcement for each of these structural member that i'm going to be analyzing and designing for so let's select this if i i'll take that again in order for you to understand if you look at this column here if i click on this once i click it brings out this menu for me i will come to edit edit here you can see rebar diameters so each of your reinforcement rebar means reinforcement uh, bar okay so uh you can see this one is for column this one for wall this one for beam this one for slab this one for rib slab this one for footing the wall here is not your normal concrete wall okay this is reinforced concrete wall so don't do the mistake of uh, 
although even if you leave it as it is like this it has no effect on your building because it is not included so this is actually a share wall if you don't add it to your building it's it is definitely going to be insignificant because the software will not even uh, introduce it in your design so you know computer is actually basically up garbage in garbage out so whatever you don't give this is the computer the computer cannot give you what you do not give him so we have to specify the reinforcement we want to use for the design or in our building so uh, for your column here I decide I want to use Y16 for my beam I decide I want to use Y16 please emphasis on simplified reinforced concrete design book by Victor Oyenuga it's very important for you to get that book because um, all these reinforcement I'm selecting here you don't need to cram any of them you need to know where they are coming from and the reason why you are adopting a particular size of reinforcement so you don't just use rule of thumb or you just pick a reinforcement anyhow so but you know this is a design software even when you pick uh, but from experience you know that you cannot use y12 when it comes to your column or when it comes to your beam um, reason being that it is customary in nigeria to use y16 for your beams and your column it is customary that you start from y16 because when you start from y12 even the thickness of that y12 is always not going up to that thickness it's quite unfortunate um, so um so it's important that you know some of these things and understand where they are coming from you must understand this design from first principle before applying uh, or using uh, softwares like this um, I have a training on RCD 2000 which I will always encourage everyone to get and then I have a course on structural detailing okay where you do your structural detailing 100% manually it's very very important for you to have all of those insights as well because if you don't really understand all of these things you will be doing your designs blindly okay um, because there is a limit to what I can show you as regards to this software because it does a whole lot for you in the background so you can see all here I do here is just to select the specific reinforcement I want this software to use to analyze for me and then uh, for my links as well I will pick the reinforcement I want to use for my links so it will not go outside whatever i have told him to do for me so this is me basically telling this software this is the reinforcement i want you to actually adopt in this design so um if these reinforcement are not uh, adequate enough uh, the structural members may most likely fail and in that case you as the engineer you use your discretion to know when to increase the size of reinforcement to know when to reduce the spacing of your reinforcement and all of that so when it comes to the case of spacing it could be in the case of your links it could be in the case of your slab okay so all of that uh, i will show you even as we proceed and then i will click on ok after selecting my grade of concrete my grade of steel and then my sizes of reinforcement for all the structural members by the time I'm done with that, it's important you come to your analysis here and always do a model check. This model check is to tell you if your model is actually okay or there is a problem somewhere in your model. This model check would tell you that there is a problem somewhere, there is an error somewhere. It could be in the case of an overlapping or maybe you have double columns in one particular position because when you are importing from AutoCAD there are cases where you have two poly lines in one particular point the software will interpret it as having two columns inter uh, at one point that is how the software will interpret it so in that case you are having two columns that are overlapping with each other so that would be a very big error for you 
so it will give you an error so you can see here it's telling us that our number of errors are zero that means our model is perfectly okay so if you click on this load log to editor it will tell you specifically the error where you are having that error so you can see we have these are the list of possible errors that you can have in your model you can see overlapping slab um, slab with small area and what 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 basically you can just read through take your time and understand all of this so from there you'll be able to know when you have a specific error you will know where that error is and you'll be able to go and correct it in your model so by the time you are done with that you can just click on this close and make sure you come to your building analysis then you click on it uh, you check check this as well check this and check this so you have to reselect bar and to the design okay we don't have a steel member in our design so there's no need for me to check it but even if i check it it's irrelevant because like i said earlier on it cannot give you what you did not give him so it is garbage in and garbage out So it's loading. So um, that has done. It's done, and then I'll click on. Would you like to select no to exit? You so click on yes. Okay, it's not done. It's still in the process. It's still in the process. Okay, all right. That's not. I think it's still loading still loading actually so we we'll have to wait for this to finish loading all right it's done loading so i'll click on ok and then i'll come to my post analysis from here now i'll come to column slash wall design okay so once i click on that i will now scroll down to see all my structural member you can see all my columns have passed no one failed which is a very good thing uh we'll go to my beams from here you can see all my beams have passed as well which is also very great so i think i am very very good to go so um i will click close this then uh, it's very important when you come to your design you come to slab analysis slash this and design when you come to slab analysis and design then uh, all right sorry uh let's come to story one okay here now we are supposed to do what we call the slab strips we'll do the slab strip which i'm going to be showing you in the next episode okay um so i will see you in the next episode